It's time to do the Space Jam! Alright, so who doesn't like basketball attire? But most of all, who doesn't like to save a little bit of money? Welcome to the Prop Shop, where we check out the latest and greatest props out there. This week, on Fake vs. Real, we do a full basketball attire set, from shoes, shorts, to the jersey. Let's go take a look. First on the docket is, of course, the Toon Squad jersey from the original Space Jam. I got this one on AliExpress for $15 plus $10 for shipping. And coming straight out of the bag, we got ourselves a full-on nicely ironed on Toon Squad logo, as well as my ironically favorite character, Tweety, with number one and a third size. It's really interesting that it does come with the Authentic Apparel Champion logo just in case you want to fool your friends. And the material for the most part does seem pretty good to what you get from most basketball jerseys. But the holes are a little bit bigger giving it that cheaper kind of look. But the embroidery is perfect. And for the most part no one can tell it's even fake. However as for sizing goes I got myself the triple XL just because I've been burned a lot by getting the smaller sizes for things I ordered on China. But for the most part, going four sizes up this time actually did feel way too big. Maybe I should have followed the manufacturer's advice. It fits quite soft, it's got a nice touch to it. And for the most part, if you just want a jersey that you're beating around, why pay $100 for an actual sports jersey? Now let's bring in my real jersey for all my Canadian fans out there. I got myself a Toronto Raptors jersey. Right off the bat, comparing the two materials, the Adidas has a way better touch to it. And the holes are a lot smaller, giving it that more fine feel. The embroidery is also done a bit better, with a bit more solid stitching compared to the Champion. But for the most part, the iron-on between the two logos are quite the same. As much of a cheapskate as I am, I also got this one on sale, which means this one didn't cost that much more than my fake counterpart. But when comparing most actual jerseys, these ones will probably set you back close to $100, while this one, with shipping included, was only $25. So in terms of quality versus price, this round has to go to the fake jersey. Next comes the pads to round off those jerseys. The interesting thing about this comparison is that they're actually both Nikes. Well, one of them's fake, but they both have the Nike logo on them. So as far as comparisons go, this is probably the best, most direct comparison you can get. I made sure to get the same cherry blossom pattern for both of these. Unfortunately, this one only came in black, but the patterns are exactly the same. So this is the Dry Fit DNA series, which sets you back approximately $60 for a pair of shorts. Which is crazy, right? Good thing online, you can get this one for $20, one third the price. But for one third the price, what exactly do you get? First of all, the Nike logo on the fake one is actually not apparent at all, which I kind of like because I really don't want to be sporting a Nike logo if the item is fake. Much like the jersey, the material on the fake one is a lot thinner and has a lot more holes into it. For the most part, these two are pretty identical and you'd be pretty satisfied with the fake one as well. But the main gripe I have with this one is the fitting of the size. The elastic band is actually really tight. And this time, much like my Space Jam jersey, I went three sizes up. So I went for a triple XL with this one and it was still really tight around the elastic band. While I normally would wear a size medium for the shorts. So even though this one was one third the price, there were a lot of things that I didn't like about this one. An interesting thing about this one is that fake ones don't have big of a sale as the real ones. So once again, as a cheapskate as I am, I got myself these ones on sale. So this one, when you're going on sale, you could probably expect about 30% off. So you probably get this for $40, while this one gets you close to 20 something dollars. For the extra 10 to 15 dollars, I would say I would go with the real deal. Just because you can try it on in the store, and the elastic band is a lot better. And when you're playing sports or doing other activities, fit is probably key when it comes to clothing. Uh, burn that seat! Which is why when comparing these two, this round has to go to the real deal. So 
finally comes the most expensive part of any ensemble. It's of course these shoes. Now shoes is always very interesting because there is an almost underground kind of collector's series that people really want to go for. And of course, when you go with the real deal, you get the box as well. What I got here is the Adidas Next Level Captain America from the Infinity War series. Much as you would hope from the real deal, this one comes with the Captain America comic at the bottom. A really nice fit for a laceless basketball shoe. And of course, it has excellent grip. Everything's really well done. And of course, I have taken these to court before, and the grip is astonishing. But beyond that, the details of this is just immaculate. It's a great looking shoe, got the Captain America logo at the top, and of course, who could forget, these. Especially for something that you're going to put a lot of pressure on. You really want a really great construction, and these shoes really deliver for the real deal. Next up, when you get things online, they're just going to come out of a bag, so you really know that it's fake. For the most part, it's pretty well done. The material from far away looks pretty good, and for the most part, you can't really tell that it's fake. It's also got the Captain America shield on the tongue, and the great part is that they replicate the insoles as well. For the sole on the sides, everything's replicated pretty well, but the material is really thin, with soft cushioning, and the tongue is something less to be desired as well. But while the real deal sets you back $260, this one only sets you back $80 which is still surprisingly expensive for a fake item. But I get it, shoes sometimes are pretty hard to replicate, especially when they're from a certain series like Captain America. But while for casual walking, both are pretty much very similar, this one you really don't want to take to the court. Some parts definitely aren't as solid as the real deal, and of course, the material and the support are a lot weaker. Beyond really weak ankle support, as well as the material, another big thing was that these are both identical sizes. I wear size 13 for basketball shoes, and while these ones fit very snug, these ones are extremely loose, and I do not recommend taking these on the court. So for something as important as your own personal health, I definitely would go with the real deal. Just because the support is there, the design is there, and of course, if you're a collector, the box is there too, as well. So it looks like this game goes to the real deal, at a score of 2 to 1. As much of a cheapskate as I am, I really don't want to go with fake shoes just because the support is there for the real deal and of course the actual fit and comfort is also there as well. But if you're just using it for casual walking around, the fake works just as well. You save yourself a lot of money, in fact comparing this whole set, you probably save yourself more than $150 if you get all three together. But what you do with your money is for you to decide. I hope you enjoyed this prop shop fake versus real comparison. And of course, now it's time for me to take these bad boys out for a spin.